everybody so much. I don't like Kansas very much. I wish I could just go back to basis. <sighs> There's nothing to do in Kansas. Right, Toto? Right, Toto? You know what? Sometimes I wish I was somewhere else. On a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Somewhere over the rainbow. Birds fly, birds fly over the rainbow. Why then? Oh, why can't I? I wish we can go back to school too, Puffy. That's where my rainbow is, right? Yeah. Wait to see everyone back again. We'll be back soon, right? Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh, oh, why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? ever gonna get out of Kansas. It's so boring here. And there's that mean old witch that keeps running around. How are we gonna get away from her? Good girl, Toto. You're the best Toto ever. My storm will get you, my pretty. And you're a little dog, too.
Where am I? <gasps> Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Wow, puppy. Toto, we're back at school. I can't believe it. I can't believe that tornado blew us all the way here. But how did that happen? I don't know. Hmm. It really was no miracle. What happened was just this. The wind began to switch, the house to pitch, and suddenly the hinges started to unhitch. Just then, the witch, to satisfy an itch, went flying on her broomstick, thumbing for a hitch. And oh, what happened then was rich. The house began to pitch, the kitchen took a switch, it landed on the wicked witch in the middle of a ditch, which was not a healthy situation for the wicked witch. Let's follow the yellow brick road and see where it leads us. Right by one of the kinder rooms. What's this? A book about storms? I bet this will tell us a lot about the tornado we just came through and got dropped right at the school. Let's take a lesson. Sometimes a thunderstorm gives birth to a tornado. The wind blows hard and trees bend. Heavy rains or hailstones fall. Lightning and thunder rip the sky dark and a howling roar like hundreds of jet planes fill the air. Spinning winds inside the thunderstorm begin forming a funnel-shaped cloud that reaches downward to the ground. This is the shape of a funnel. It's shaped just like a V. When it contacts the earth, an explosion of flying dirt turns the tornado dark. Ooh, look how dark that tornado looks. This remarkable series of photos shows the life of a tornado in hours, minutes, and seconds. So you can get bigger and bigger. And then it disappears. As the spinning winds pick up speed, the tornado grows larger and larger. The funnel skips across the ground, sometimes setting down, sometimes bouncing upward, and then touching down again, leaving semicircle marks on the ground like hoof prints of giant horses. The funnel moves forward at speeds, averaging 30 miles per hour, but some tornadoes travel at more than 60 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. That's as fast as a car. Like the hose of an enormous vacuum cleaner, the tornado picks up loose debris and materials and whirls them around. In less than 15 minutes, the funnel cloud becomes clogged with dirt and air and can no longer suck up any more. The cloud becomes lighter in color as less dirt is swept up. As the tornado begins to lag behind the parent thunderhead, it narrows and finally vanishes altogether. The twisting winds of a tornado whirl around the funnel at speeds of 200 miles an hour or more. Houses may be knocked down and blown apart by the wind. Then the tornado picks up the pieces along with chairs and tables, beds, and carries them away and drops them somewhere else. If you know a tornado is coming, go indoors, but stay away from the windows. In a house, the safest place is in the cellar or the basement. Get under a table or under the stairs. If there's no cellar, go into a closet or a small room in the middle of your house. Cover yourself with a blanket or heavy towels to protect yourself from flying glass. Tornadoes sometimes do strange things. Once, a car with two people inside was lifted to a height of a hundred feet, then deposited right side up without injuring the passengers. They were fine. Another tornado lifted up a train locomotive from one track, spun it around in midair, and set it down another track 
facing the opposite direction. Wow, Toto, that book sure taught us a lot about the tornado that brought us here. Here. Just wanted to pop in and say, hey, check out this cool video experiment you could do at home with making a tornado out of a water bottle. Check it out. It's really cool. Well guys, I hope you like this adventure that we got to go on with Dorothy and Toto. Wizard of Oz is my favorite movie. It means so much to me. It's so special to me and my husband. And I am now married, obviously, as you know. And I am Mrs. Gale now, just like Dorothy Gale from Kansas. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot about tornadoes. I miss you guys. Ignore my messy new office behind me. You all, you know what I'm really doing? I'm working on something special for your graduation. See you soon, guys. Bye.